Welcome back to Trading with CJ. We talk a lot on this channel about different penny stocks to buy, different stock analysis, etc. But today we've got three stocks to buy that are currently under $10. Some of these have even passed $10 before, okay? Um, two of these I spoke about before. One of these is brand new to the channel. But hopefully you'll find this useful because I think it's a great time to get into any of these free stocks. If you appreciate all this, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. It really is appreciated. All support helps. We're on the road to 10K. If you can help me get there, that would of course be amazing. I'm going to be covering some stocks to buy under five, under one, and even under 10 cents a share as well over the next week or so. So stick around for all of that. But today, let's get straight into this. I'm not a financial advisor. Please always do your own research before investing. So up first, we have a firm favorite of mine, and it still is a firm favorite, even though it has been on a rocky road over the last uh, month or so, okay? We are talking about ticker symbol GEVO, GEVO. GEVO is the big biofuel energy company, and you can see they are a leading renewable chemicals and advanced biofuel company. Their aim here is to deliver low carbon, sustainable fuels and chemicals. The greenhouse gas, uh, CO2, is their renewable carbon source. And they're, gonna, they're doing a lot of things, or their aim here is to change the world. They want to achieve net zero carbon emissions. They want it all, fuels for cars, airplanes, trucks, small engines, boats, ships. They are looking to replace the carbon source for the majority of pla packaging plastics like polyester and polypropylene. Done right, we enable production of protein that helps feed the world. So many different streams going with this company. We've covered this one a lot on this channel. Catalyst video, stock analysis, the animal feed, the aviation fuel, it's all there. Link to that is in the description below if you want to get a bit more in depth with this company, okay? But basically the world is moving in this carbon neutral or zero carbon emission uh, way. Everyone is looking to save the planet, save energy. And this company here has a renewable fuel source that can go into any of these different um, engines, whether it be planes, boats, etc. And it's ready to go right now. You can see here, carbon neutral gets its start in the production process. There are all sorts of ways to create biofuel from a variety of available feedstocks using different methods. They work with farmers who grow their feedstock biomass. They work to develop the production process and Jiva Biofuels are the primary product. We also manufacture co-products such as high protein animal feed that help reduce the carbon intensity of our overall process. So it really is in a growing sector, something to definitely watch out for for sure. We know of course with the new president in Joe Biden, that his plan here as president is to lead the world to address the climate emergency and lead through the power of example by ensuring the US achieves a 100% clean energy economy and net zero emissions no later than 2050. Some uh, other companies out there are saying to, well, they want to be carbon neutral by 2025 or zero carbon emissions by 2025, etc. This company is, of course, in a growing sector for sure. If we jump into their current stock price, they did actually go up on a massive, massive run. We started speaking out about these around about the $5 mark, I believe it was, or that's when I first started buying. And yeah, they, they went up to about $15. They touched about $15. And since then, they've been on a bit of a pullback. They're actually down around about 40% since those highs currently trading for less than nine dollars a share i think at this price it is a massive massive steal hold on to this one for the next few years things are going to be really really exciting for this company the second company up here is one that we mentioned once before on my channel but i've been buying this one for a long old time since about three dollars something like that we are talking about planet 13 ticker symbol pln thf on the otc stock exchange this is a can cannabis company, but not like any other. They're a vertically integrated cannabis company based in Nevada. They have a massive, massive superstore in Las Vegas. You can see they own the world's largest cannabis uh, store from the Las Vegas Strip, literally walking distance. So what's that gonna attract? Tourists, lots and lots of them. Planet 13 the Cannabis Entertainment Complex is the winner of Leafy's 2018 Nevada Dispensary of the Year. The Superstore acts as a showcase for a growing portfolio of branded products including vapes, edibles, pre-rolls, concentrates, and their ambition is to operate ultra-high-end dispensaries in Tier 1 markets nationwide. And if we jump in here to their presentation, uh, you can see they've got their main store in Nevada, the retail side of things with their Planet 13 and their dispensary, but they're also uh, looking to expand here into 
California with some retail stores. Okay, they're gonna open their retail location mid this year. Which what's that gonna do? It's gonna increase their footfall. People are gonna know about this product if they don't already. A lot of people do know about this company. Bear in mind, it just has this one big superstore. Imagine if they branched out and got more and more of these different locations. Things are gonna look very, very exciting for Planet 13. And look at their finances, okay? We recently got their finances, but we can see here, their revenue has been growing year after year. But look at this, Q1 2020, 16 million, 16.8 million, okay? And then we see it drop off, obviously Q2, which is when the COVID started. And then we can see, look at this, Q3 2020 was 22.8 million. Absolutely insane. You can see in 2019, we they had 63 million in revenue. And even the numbers throughout COVID has been going really, really well considering in fact, we're in lockdown. If we actually go into their finances, which came out just two days ago now, the acute one revenue of 2021 was 23.8 million, which is absolutely insane. And that's included in 9.7 in March alone. And 2020 revenue was 70.5. The numbers are growing, okay? And obviously, you could argue that maybe people are smoking more, etc., because of lockdown. However, one of their, their, their main stream of income here comes from their superstore and tourist visiting. Tourists are not currently traveling to Las Vegas, so when that picks back up, which will hopefully will come mid this year, we're gonna be seeing these numbers increase without a shadow of a doubt. And of course, we have the global potential legalization in America of uh, cannabis, which is potentially to come on the horizon. More and more states are starting to legalize this or definitely considering it, which is another catalyst for this company. But even without that, this has been smashing it regardless. So that's just an extra catalyst for why I think this is a great company. If we look at their current stock price, at the time of recording this, they currently trade around about the 720 mark. And once again, they went on a little bit of a run. They actually touched about 820. So we're down ever so slightly from that. But I think this is a great price. Like I say, they just recently put out their earnings. So we have seen this run up quite a bit over the last few days. But I still think right now at these prices, is an amazing price to get in at. This is easily a $10 plus company in the next year, in my opinion, okay? And then obviously go on to smash this even more as they open up more and more stores. So that brings us on to our third and final one today. And this is a new stock for the channel. Never spoke about this before. Very, very different to what I speak about, okay? This is a, uh, a bit more of a high risk company, I guess I say. This is a recovery play. We talk about the one group, ticker symbol STKS. Now, if we look at their current stock price, they've actually been on a very good run. I mentioned these in a Discord around about the 770 mark, so not too long ago. However, I have very recently, as of uh, today, opened a position in these in a high risk uh, position anyway. But this company is basically a leisure restaurant company, okay? We can see here they've got lots of different brands. They've got the STK brand, the steakhouse. Most people know this company, okay, across the world, uh, STK London, STK in America, etc. Most people have been to one of these expensive, uh, high classy restaurants, I guess you could say. They've got a Kona Grill, they've got their Heliot Steakhouse, even this Radio Rooftop. They've got one in Milan and London. It's basically a classy uh, going out a going out experience, okay? And we can actually see their breakdown here. They say they're a global leader in the hospitality industry and the creator of international restaurant brand SDK. In addition to developing our operating upscale, high energy restaurant and lounges, the One Group provides a signature turnkey food and beverage service, One Hospitality. And this is the hotels, casinos, and other high-end locations across the globe. So this has definitely uh, been hit hard, of course, as you can imagine with pretty much all of their revenue streams, or most of them anyway, drying up over the last year. But that's why this makes a good recovery play. And that's why you've got to be diverse in your portfolio. Have a bit of energy, have a bit of cannabis, have a bit of recovery, you know. Of course, there are lots more sectors. I'm just covering three here today, but yeah. This is a recovery play in my opinion. Of course, as you can imagine there, their finances did come out just a few days ago and they wasn't great, okay? Lots of these revenues were decreasing, but as we can expect, okay, the, the income was decreasing and making a loss this year, but they say their team did exceptionally well job managing through decreased capacity and maximizing revenues while containing operating costs. This resulted in 200 basis point increase to restaurant operating profit. In addition, we generated almost 9 million in adjusted EBITDA for the second half of the year at an average indoor capacity of 45%. We are gonna get back here to opening at full capacity. It's just a matter of when. So when we do, these numbers will be on the rise and this will be looking very, very good for this stock. If we actually look here at their finances, you can see the revenue from 2017 was 79 million and then 2018 was 85. It's been growing and growing. 2020, 141 million. The revenue has been growing every single year and so was the earnings, okay, from 2018 to 2019. Of course, they are down this year, 12 point eight million in twenty twenty anyway. But twenty twenty one I imagine it'll be a lot better than that of twelve point eight. 
So uh, 141 million in revenue, and we look at their stock now. Let's jump into their stock. They do currently have a market cap of 252. So the revenue is over half of that alone, okay? 141 there, 252 market cap. Looking quite good, quite good on the numbers front considering this is a company that has clearly been hit hard. And they've been on a nice run, consistently going up and up, even though the finances weren't that great, okay? So I do think at this price, under $10, I think it's a very good price to get in at, especially if you can hold on this one for the next year or two. It could make a very good recovery play. So that's my free stock today. Let me know if you hold any of these free. What's your favorite stock to currently buy under $10? We're looking from the five to 10 range in this particular one, but we will be covering less than five, less than one, and less than 10 cents per share as well. Thanks for watching. If you can smash a like, and subscribe to my channel as well. We also have a Patreon. This is the best time to get in the start of the month, okay, because you get the most benefits out of it. You get the whole month for there. Come and join us in that. Link to that is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching, and until next time.